Continuing on with the same problem, in step one, we did the plug-in method, and now we're going to do the synthetic division method, and you'll see we're going to get the same results. We want to show that this polynomial has at least one zero between zero and one. So if you're using the synthetic division, um, you're going to do it twice. The first time on the divisor, you'll have a zero outside. The second time you do it, you're going to have a one outside. So let's go ahead and start the process. We'll start with a zero first. We're going to start by bringing down the first term, multiply that with zero to get zero. Bring down negative one, multiply that with zero to get zero. Bring down negative eight, multiply that with zero to get zero. Bring down a four. Now we're not looking at the value of what's our output or the remainder. We're just looking at the sign. So we have a positive and now we're going to put the one outside because we want to evaluate one as well. And we want to see what our output or our remainder is. So we're going to bring down the first term, multiply that with one to get two. Bring down the one, multiply that with one to get one. Bring down negative seven, multiply that with one to get negative seven. Bring down negative three. So notice here that our outputs are opposite in sign. So by the intermediate value theorem then, that means that yes, this polynomial function has at least one zero between zero and one. And here's what the graph looks like. Notice we have three zeros and one of them is between zero and one.